<laughs> okay, let's get right in. Let's improve our vocabulary. I've got five ways to improve your vocabulary. And believe it or not, there are so many words in the English language. There's 1,000, 100, uh, what, 100, uh, I'm going to get it, 171,476 words in the English language. And we're going to see the reason for you all to expand it over the 2,000 that the majority of use from day to day. We use about 2,000 of those 171 plus words, and we're going to try to expand that. I'm going to tell you why you need to improve it. Let's get right into it. We'll throw out some factoids as we go along. Reason number one. Reason number one to expand your vocabulary, you'd be a red or rapper. <laughs> Listen, everybody want to drop some bars every once in a while. Y'all don't. Dr. D. Nice, D. Nice is here for the day. Every, we all have a little rapper inside of us. And if you improve your vocabulary, if you need to rhyme a word with bed, you use something like, Tipid. <laughs> you tell somebody they kind of lukewarm, they soft. Instead of saying that, you just say you dip it. You know, that's not better. If you're a rapper, you'd be like Jay Z. Expand your voc vocabulary to be a better rapper. If you're a poet, if you're a screenwriter, if you want to get into one of those things, that's what expanding your vocabulary can do for you. And then number two. Number two, the number two reason to expand your vocabulary, expand it past the 200, the 20,000 that most of us already use in our active vocabulary. Number two reason is sometimes people need to be set straight. You know, they, you, you need to kind of let them know what's up. And instead of letting them know what's up, in a way that could get you in trouble, they they come in at you, getting on your nerve. You could say something like, you're such an imbecile. <laughs> right? Imbecile. 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 That's, that, you know, you haven't like said any bad words, but you've said something that will set them straight. Look up the word, look up the word. Reasons to expand your vocabulary that you have not thought of. You may have to set somebody straight and you don't want to be accused of cursing and you find a word that will set them straight in a less than cursing way. All right, number three, the number three reason to expand your vocabulary would be to do better on your SATs. Let's, let's be honest. We, you all are young. You're going to have to take the SATs at some point if you want to move on to college or any higher education past high school. And they always ask them big words on the SAT. If you start from now to expand your vocabulary, when you throw up an SAT, you're like, got, got this. Check, check. I know that one. I know that one. Could use it in a sentence. Uh, I was spelling the champ. I got this. I got this. Get better on your SAT by improving your vocabulary. Number four. Number four reason to improve your vocabulary is to impress your crush. I mean, let's be honest. I mean, I'm a married woman. My husband's my crush. Yeah, he is. I don't really have to impress him like that. I already did the impress. Observation. <laughs> I'm just making up words. <laughs> Don't make up words. Find real words to improve your vocabulary. You have a crush. You want to impress them. What do you say? Hmm. Here's what you say. Your skin is glowing with such splendor. <laughs> They'll go weak. You'll get a phone number just like that. Or, you know, y'all could start meeting each other on Discord or something like that. Yeah. Tell somebody they're glowing with splendor. I think they'll like that. I'll appreciate that. 
That's the number four reason to improve your vocabulary. Number five. Let's look at number five. Number five, and this one has a backstory. I was actually coming up with my list, and I elicited the help of my 11-year-old son. He's the one that was in the video with me where we tried to figure out which one of the organs was the most important. You should go check it out. That one was a good one. And he said, I mean, so you don't sound dumb? That's what he said. And I quote, so you don't sound dumb. Improve your vocabulary so people will be impressed by your knowledge. Others can look at you and say, oh, okay, all right. This, 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 this person knows what's up. This person understands what's going on here. And uh, so instead of saying, oh, that, that, that's big, that, that, that's a big, what, that's a big back, that's a colossal backpack you have there. How's that? Improve your vocabulary. Yes, there are the other reasons. Like, you know, people may think you're a deep thinker, improves your reading comprehension. It's good for career success and those so forth. But, you know, let's throw in the fact that it'll make you a better rapper. You don't have to really, you can curse without cursing. You can do better on your SATs, you know, impress your crush, and you won't sound dumb. How's that? Those are reasons to improve your vocabulary. And I, like I said before, there, most of us have about 20,000 words in our active vocabulary. That's the words that we use from day to day. And then in our passive vocabulary, the majority of us has about 35 thousand. We're trying to improve that active vocabulary and little tips on how to do that is just find a word a week, throw them in, scatter them in, sprinkle them in, whatever you're doing. Just find a way to sprinkle some stuff in, scatter it, disperse it amongst your language and get used to throwing in a word here and there. Nothing wrong with that. And Scrabble, Scrabble, you can do Scrabble, you can do crossword puzzles, read books, of course. All of those things will help you improve your vocabulary. All 